Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through various locations throughout the TradeStation platform in which you can place orders. So to start things off, let's work through the trade tab at the top of the page. This is really easy to do so. All you have to do is just hover your mouse over trade here, and that's pretty much it. You can place your orders directly through whatever asset class you want. Your asset class is listed on the left-hand side here, and you can click through and sort as needed. Then, of course, you can apply your symbol here at the top. You can either search through the symbol directory using this little magnifying glass, or you can click down this drop-down arrow right here. And if you have traded some other futures on this account before, it'll show you your most recent orders. Now, continuing on, you have your order quantity. You can change the order type. You can change your price here, your duration, and then set your account. If you do use OCO or OSO orders, you can um, stipulate those changes here. As you can see, each type of order pretty much is broken down by what exactly it is, the order types that are consisted within that strategy. And then you have a little sub menus on the right where you can spe specify the quantities or whether or not you want a specific order attached or not, so on and so forth. There's a lot of different customization options when it comes to this. You can create your own custom order down here, or you can even come to order preferences. In that way, these preferences will be saved for all future use of these order types. And of course, these uh, the preferences do consist of things such as order quantity, uh, tick offsets, and things of that nature. So that being said, let's just go real quick back up. You can click buy or sell buttons. You can look at the um, buy in, um, excuse me, the buy and limit prices here at the bottom. Um, if you adjust these, whether on the buy or sell side, this will automatically input the latest price up here into your limit price. And then the A will also do something similar. It'll just throw the price up there. So if you like, you can trade through this method. Not limited to you, but it is something to keep in mind. One last thing is the advanced section of this, this portion of the um, trade tab. There's just things such as activation rules. You can put uh, specific rules here if you want. These are pretty much orders that will pretty much automate trade for you. Or there's trailing stops, and then you can adjust those here if touch orders are shown only. You'll notice this uh, keeps on kind of cutting away from me here. You can click this pin bar, which will kind of keep it locked there. You can also do this little shortcut here. Click down this drop down arrow, and you can change. If it's not locked, you can make it floating. You could dock it. And the auto hide is pretty much just something that I have enabled. This will pretty much just put it up there at the top. You'll notice this is gonna, just gonna be docked here and locked in. You can click auto hide and it'll put it in its own little tab there. So that is the trading tab. Of course, it's very useful. It's convenient and it's a small shortcut. There are other locations though, so let's continue on. Next up, we do have market depth. Unfortunately, I can't show you too much functionality behind market depth because I am not enabled for it on the type account I'm using. Just keep in mind that you can see market depth here. Although they're not very proportionate in the current window that I have open, you can enable some buy and sell buttons up here. You can look at price, depth, size, and spreads all throughout here. And then, of course, you can trade whatever asset class you want directly at the bottom here. Pretty similar to what we've seen before on the other trading bars. But again, just another option for those of you that may want to do everything in one convenient location. Speaking of which, the next thing we have up on our list is going to be the matrix. If you haven't already seen our matrix video, feel free to go ahead and take a look at that for a more advanced walkthrough. This is pretty much known as the depth of market or dome on other platforms. Either way, it's going to show you the volume and depth in the market. You can place orders directly through the dome levels here, the different price levels on the corresponding bid and ask sizes. If you want, you can fill everything out and enter them on the right hand side here. You definitely have quite a few options when it comes to placing orders here. So. You can also activate the trade bar on or off, and there's also the advanced trade bar, which, of course, as we've seen on the other trade bar, this is pretty much just going to give you some if-touched rules, show-only, activation rules, things of that nature. 
So let's continue on in other locations now. Coming back up to apps, the next one we can actually do is um, the quick trade bar. If we open that up, this is pretty much just going to allow us to throw this off in a corner or even on another monitor if you want to. You've probably seen this if you do Forex trade. If not, that's okay. These are just pretty much quick order buy and sell buttons. These do work for futures if you're interested in that. Of course, it is oriented around Forex, but as you can see, you can just pretty much just click buy or sell. You get your order confirmation window, click OK, and then it'll pretty much just place your order for you. You can close orders out of here. You can cancel. So one convenient location if you're interested in something small and of course convenient again. Now, next up, let's go back to apps. This is going to be um, a little bit different and not everybody may want to use this, but the chart analysis. This is going to be used for those traders that do trade directly through the chart. So this is an option for you. It's going to take a second to configure this for me. But once we have it open, we can pretty much trade if we want to directly through a chart. You can do so by right clicking on your chart here, coming down to chart trading. Now, this will activate your chart trade mode. So once this loads for me, we do get some tips if you want to do it. So let's just keep this tip, these tips up so you can read along with them as well. But so as you can see, if you're looking to buy, um, buy anything, pretty much, you want to use your left click. Now, there are a couple ways to do so. You can either click control to buy a limit. You can and that's going to be below the ask price. If you hit control and then click above the market, this is going to put in a stop market order. And then if you use a shift in a left click, this is going to place a buy stop limit order if this is above the ask price. Continuing on, you'll notice that alt is going to be your primary click for your sell buttons. So of course, and again, this is going to be dependent on where you click on the market, a sell limit, is going to be placed if you click above the bid price a sell stop is going to be placed if you click below the bid price that's going to be an alt left click of course and then the only difference here is the limit order is going to be a shift click now this is going to be below the bid price so just to show you let's do one right here let's click alt on my keyboard click a left click below the bid price and as you see here, this automatically configures us for a stop market again. And as you can see on the right hand side here, this is because I just alt and click below the market. Clicking on yes here, you'll see you do get a visual representation of where your order was placed. If you want, you can either left click, drag and hold to readjust. And then, of course, you do have your cancel orders down in the bottom right here in your trade bar. So that's quite nice. You can also enable keyboard trading. You can preview OCO orders since they're a little bit more complex for charts and things of that nature. I'll also show you here. You can cancel and replace lines by, of course, like I said, dragging and dropping if you need to. You can edit quantity and order price by shift and right clicking on an open order as you can see right there. Then, of course, you can cancel orders by clicking on select plus delete on the open order line. So that pretty much wraps it up for all the various locations you can actually trade throughout the platform. Now, there are some other locations in which you can cancel orders, manipulate them, things like that. But we'll leave that for another video. If there wasn't anything in this video that we mentioned as far as where to place orders, feel free to comment in the section comment section down below. I'm sure it'll help other traders out. There are quite a few places on this platform to trade. So we attempted to cover the major ones. If there's anything else we missed, please let us know. If you did enjoy this content, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more trade station content as well as future trading podcast advice, tips, things of that nature. And as always, thanks for watching.